Hey, you remember the Jerry Seinfeld episode, The Pick, in which Jerry's date thinks that she has seen him invade his nose and she is not amused? Actually, he was only scratching the outside of his nose. The truth is that such nasal intrusions are practiced by the vast majority of the population, and they do not represent some sort of moral failing. But does nasal tunneling represent an increased risk of Alzheimer's disease? That is just what numerous headlines, along the lines of shocking study finds nose picking could increase risk for Alzheimer's and dementia, have suggested. Well, that study referred to uh, some research carried on in Australia, and there was absolutely no nose picking involved. Neither were there any humans involved. This was a mouse study. And the far-fetched conclusion about the dangers of nose picking was arrived at by headline writers who were eager to trap an audience. <clears throat> the actual paper was entitled Chlamydia pneumoniae can infect the central nervous system via the olfactory and trigeminal nerves and contribute to Alzheimer's disease risk. What researchers had in mind was to explore a possible link between infections and Alzheimer's disease. Why? Because it's known through autopsies that people who have died from Alzheimer's disease, 90% of them contain some DNA from the uh, pneumonia bacterium. Furthermore, the DNA was found in the vicinity of amyloid protein deposits in the brain, and those are the hallmark of Alzheimer's disease. So the question was, is it possible that bacteria can trigger the formation of these deposits and are therefore a causative factor in Alzheimer's disease? <clears throat> well, that was the question, and if that is indeed the case, how do these bacteria get into the brain? To to delve into this matter further, scientists inoculated the nasal cavity of mice with the chlamydia pneumoniae bacteria and discovered that the bacteria did indeed find their way into the brain through the trigeminal nerve and through the olfactory nerve. In addition, amyloid deposits were found in the brain around areas where the DNA was discovered as well. So what do we make of this? Well, importantly, the study did not show that the mice were sickened before they were sacrificed, so there could be no confusion about uh, you know, them causing the disease. They, they, there was no evidence that there was any disease here. However, the demonstration that bacteria can enter the brain via the nose and perhaps cause amyloid deposits is indeed revealing and it strengthens the possibility that infections may play a role in uh, the onset of Alzheimer's disease. So where does the nose picking come in? Some of the mice had their nasal epithelium, that's the thin tissue that lines the nasal cavity, uh, deliberately injured by the researchers. And in the, these cases, the bacteria did indeed travel to the brain more quickly. This is what has imaginatively been extrapolated to nose picking being a risk for Alzheimer's disease, because supposedly when you pick your nose, you might injure it a little bit. This is really a bridge too far. Remember that this was a mouse study, that mice do not pick their nose, that they were artificially inoculated with bacteria, and they were not shown to have Alzheimer's disease. So the threat of snipping a romantic liaison would seem to be a better argument against nose picking than the threat of Alzheimer's disease. And that for today is our Cup of Joe.